Greetings and welcome back everybody. So Samsung has just released a big update for the Galaxy S10 series and this update carries over a lot of features from the Galaxy Note 10. So a lot of features which were exclusive to the Note 10 have been carried over to the Galaxy S10 series. So features like live focus for video that is video bouquet, AR doodle, night mode for the front facing camera, link to windows which is screen mirroring. Then features like Samsung desktop experience for PC have also been added to the Galaxy S10. Samsung Dex for PC is awesome. All you need to do is connect the phone to computer through USB and then you can use Samsung Dex on your computer to control your phone. I will show you all of these features in more detail after we finish upgrading. Then dynamic lock screen has also been carried over from the Note 10 over to the S10 series. And size of the update is 588 megabytes, so almost 600 megabytes. By the way guys, this is the unlocked version of the Galaxy S10 Plus and this is the Exynos version. I'm not sure when this update will hit the carrier locked phones, but on the unlocked Galaxy S10, this update is already being seeded. And if you don't see this update in the notification panel, go to settings, scroll all the way down, tap on software update, then tap on download and install. By doing this, the phone will forcefully check if there is an update available and my update is ready to be installed so I'm just gonna tap install now and we will just wait. Okay so that is it, the update has now been installed. The first feature I'm gonna show you is live focus or video or video bouquet. So for that I will fire up the camera and if we change the mode, you guys will see a new option called live focus video. So what live focus for video does is that it blurs the background in real time while you are recording a video. So you kind of get that DSLR like effect as you can see from this video. I mean just look at that background blur, that looks beautiful. So coming back we have a couple of effects. So this is the glitch effect, color point, big circle and then the regular blur effect. I actually tested out this feature right after updating the phone. So this is the glitch effect, then this is the color point effect, only the objects that are near to the camera have color, then this is the big circle effect, lots of background blur and this is the regular blur effect. And the best part is live focus for video also works on the front facing camera and I think live focus for video works better on this phone, the S10 Plus because we have a secondary depth sensing camera on the S10 Plus which the Note 10 does not have. Hey guys just testing out the live focus for video feature and it does look like it is working. Look at that background blur, looks fantastic. I mean the Galaxy S10 Plus has dual camera setup so the phone will be using the second camera for depth sensing purposes. And you know what, I think this video bokeh feature works better on the S10 Plus because of the dual front facing camera. The phone is using the secondary 8 megapixel depth sensing camera for that sweet background blur. And this is the second effect, the big circle effect. So this is the third option, color point. As you can see the background is black and white and my face and my body is in color. So yeah, quite a nice effect. And finally we have the glitch effect. Man gotta say it though, thumbs up Samsung for adding all of these features. From the note 10 plus enjoying the content well make sure to subscribe and do press that bell icon so that you can get notifications to my latest uploads let's continue so that was a quick demonstration of live focus video or video bokeh on the s10 plus next up we also get night mode on the front facing camera now one thing to keep in mind is that when you take pictures using night mode after pressing the shutter button the phone takes about two seconds to save the photo as opposed to the regular photo mode where you just press the shutter button and the phone just saves the photo. Okay so here's a side by side comparison of these two photos. So picture on the right has been shot with night mode turned on, the picture on the left is without night mode. Now there is not a huge difference between these two photos but the picture that has been shot with the night mode turned on does look better. Actually the dynamic range is better and by the way these are 100% zoomed in. So this is zoomed out and this is 100% zoomed in. So both these photos are at 100%. The picture on the right which is with night mode turned on is a little bit sharper compared to the picture on the left which is without night mode. 
So yes, night mode does make a difference but the difference is not huge. When you use night mode on the rear camera, it does make more difference compared to the front facing camera. But yeah, there is some difference between these two photos and I'm quite happy with it. So that was night mode on the front facing camera. The next feature is AR Doodle or Augmented Reality Doodle. Now you'll have to go to video, then press on this icon here at the top right hand side corner of the screen. And this will open up a feature called AR Doodle. Now I think I will turn this on on the front facing camera so that I can show it to you. So we are in the video mode for the front facing camera. I'll tap on this button and this will turn on a feature called AR Doodle. And what you can do is draw and record a video in real time. So I'll start a recording and this pen is fine. And what you can do is draw stuff. Like I can draw cat ears. And as you can see, the ears kind of remain at that location. It's really hard to show it to you on camera, but yes, it does work. You can write something. This feature works well with the Note 10's S Pen. It's kind of difficult to draw with your finger, but yeah, this is Augmented Reality Doodle or AR Doodle. You can draw stuff on the screen and record a video at the same time. So I will just stop this and the video will be saved in the gallery. So this is Augmented Reality Doodle or AR Doodle. The next new feature is in Hyperlapse. So Hyperlapse now has Super Steady. So these are all the new features that this update brings to the Galaxy Note 10 Plus camera. I am quite excited about this live focus for video, especially this glitch effect. Love it. So now let us move on to Samsung DeX and I will show you how this works. This new updated Samsung DeX is awesome. You no longer require any extra docks or any special cables to use Samsung DeX. All you need to do is install the DeX software on your Windows PC, link is in the video description. Then connect your Galaxy S10 or the S10 Plus to your computer over USB and that is it. Now you will get a desktop like experience and you can control your phone using the keyboard and mouse on your computer. And this enables you to do virtually everything from texting your friends and yes you can even play games. All this while the phone is sitting and charging on your desk connected to your PC through USB. Pretty mind blowing stuff and I'm glad this is no longer a Note 10 exclusive. Now the Samsung Galaxy S10 and the S10 Plus also have this feature. Okay, so without spending much time, I'm going to show you how Samsung DeX looks and feels like on a computer. So right now the phone is connected to the PC through USB and the Samsung DeX software is running. So I'm going to make this full screen. Alright, so this is Samsung DeX. This is our desktop and we have a couple of icons over here just like we would on a Windows PC. And you can double click them to open up the application. Now, just like on a Windows PC, you can minimize the window and if you hover your mouse over the window, it will give you a little thumbnail preview. Click on the icon and you will see the window once again. You can maximize by pressing this button and again, we can restore the previous size by pressing the button again and we can just minimize the window and the app will stay active over here. If I press the Windows key on my keyboard, this opens up the phone's app drawer and these are all the apps that are installed on the phone. You can launch any app you want. I'll press the windows key once again. That brings us back to the desktop. Otherwise you can press this button that also opens up the app drawer. And if you press on this dex panel button, this opens up this little dex menu and you can exit dex by pressing this or you can lock the dex by pressing this button. And here we have some experimental features and make sure force apps to resize is turned on otherwise you won't be able to run games full screen. These three icons perform the exact same functionality as the Android navigation bar. So this is recents, this is home and this is back. Over here we have the notifications, press on this and this shows you all the notifications, Wi-Fi connections, then over here it shows that the phone is connected to a VOLTE network your cellular network signal strength then this is the battery the battery is right now fully charged I'm gonna close this 
and this is your quick settings. You can go to the main settings by pressing this gear icon and this opens up the main settings for your phone. Close this. Then once again we have some experimental features. This pops open the keyboard on the phone, not on Samsung DeX. And this opens up the volume control panel. And by the way, speaking of volume and sounds, the sounds will play back on your computer, not on your phone. So do keep that in mind. And if you click on the clock, it will take you to the calendar. So full functionality of the phone is available in Samsung DeX. And if you right click on the desktop, you will be able to change the wallpaper by pressing this button. You can pick one from gallery. Otherwise, if you want, you can pick one from these pre-installed wallpapers, which are also nice. And here's an interesting thing. You can actually copy and paste to and from your Windows PC. So I have Google Documents running over here. So we will just create a new document. Now what I can do is actually I can copy something from my PC. So Control C on the keyboard and Control V in the Samsung DeX software. So that copies the text from our Windows PC to Samsung DeX. And you can copy from anywhere you like. So if you have a Word document open or something in the notepad open, just Control C, then Control V. And you can do the exact same thing on the Samsung DeX. So I'll just Control A, Control C, and let's create a new document. And then Control V on the PC, and it just pastes the text onto the Word document. So you guys can see how powerful this little tool is. And not only you can copy and paste text, you can also copy and paste files. So here I have two photos. I can just drag and drop them onto the Samsung DeX window. And this will copy those two photos onto the phone. And if I open up the gallery, you guys will see the photos that we just copied from our Windows PC onto our phone. Amazing, right guys? Oh, and here's a fun fact. You can also run the camera while the phone is connected to Samsung DeX. So as you can see, camera is running. And if I move my hand over the phone's camera, you can see the camera is actually active right now. And did you guys see the phone screen is actually turned off, but the camera is working. If you want to switch to the rear camera, just swipe down and that will activate the rear camera. And if I move the phone, you guys can see this was also moving and you can click a picture just by pressing the shutter button. Now, one last thing I want to clarify is that most of the games are not supported in Samsung DeX. So for example, only a few selected games will work properly. I could get Asphalt 9 to run, but Dead Trigger 2 does not accept the keyboard input and neither does PUBG. So I've already tried those games out. But yeah, Samsung DeX is meant for productivity tasks and not for gaming. Okay, so the next new and exciting feature I'm going to show you on the S10 Plus is Link to Windows. And as you can see, I have Link to Windows all set up and running. So what's happening over here is that the phone's display is getting mirrored onto the computer. And this is not just screen mirroring, you can actually use the keyboard and mouse to control your phone. So I can just use my mouse to launch apps. I can launch WhatsApp go back home I can even launch camera and whatever I'm doing is getting mirrored onto the phone so as you can see the camera is running and I can see the phone's display onto the computer I can see the Android home screen right on my computer and I can open up whichever app I want I can even change the phone settings so drop down the notification panel settings and that takes me to the phone settings see what's happening over here the screen is kind of getting mirrored so let's go back and by the way I'm using full screen gestures so I have to press and hold the mouse button like this. If you are not using full screen gestures you will see the Android navigation bar at the bottom of the screen. But yeah full screen gestures do work fine and I can even open up WhatsApp and I can text my friend using the keyboard on my computer. So. So that makes texting a lot easier and I can go back home once again. This is my Android home screen. Now you can leave your phone charging anywhere at your home and you can still use this feature. So link to windows is not just a screen mirroring software. You have full control over your phone 
and you will also receive notifications that you get on your phone now here's an interesting thing if you tap on photos these are some of your recent photos the link to windows software is showing us now what you can do is drag and drop these photos onto your computer and the phone will and the link to windows software will copy the full size photo onto your computer how amazing is that okay so if you want to use link to windows screen mirroring functionality drop down the notification panel twice and you should see link to windows option over here and if you tap on this icon it will take you to this screen if you don't have link to windows in the drop down notification panel go to settings scroll down here to advanced features and over here you should see link to windows now the thing is you need to sign in with your microsoft account so i will just sign in with my microsoft account and i will be right back so once you're signed in with your microsoft account the app will ask for permissions tap on continue tap on allow allow and once again allow so now the phone is asking us to set up your phone app on the computer so now let us move on to the computer and we will set the app up on the computer this link to windows functionality is only available on windows 10 versions 1803 and later so make sure that you have the latest version of windows 10 running on your computer before you do this now on your windows 10 pc you will need to open up the microsoft store sign in with your microsoft account i have already signed in and you'll need to download an application called your phone so download and install this and once you launch the app you will see this window select android and tap on get started okay so check this out the app has automatically recognized that the galaxy s10 plus is connected so if we move on to the phone and drop down the notification panel you guys can see it's already prompting us i will tap on allow and yes it is working but the best feature over here is this phone screen and we will tap on get started again it will ask for permissions don't show this again and start now and now you will see the screen of your phone onto your pc and you can control your phone remotely from your windows computer oh and if the phone is sleeping you will just see a blank screen you can just double tap with your mouse to wake the phone up swipe to unlock enter your pin and you can easily unlock your phone everybody loves good high resolution wallpapers right the galaxy s10 has a new feature called dynamic lock screen now i'm gonna put my phone to sleep and then wake it up and watch what happens we have a new wallpaper if i put my phone to sleep and then wake it again we have another wallpaper again i'll put my phone to sleep and then wake it up again we have a brand new wallpaper for us and if i scroll here like this you can see a bunch of high resolution colorful bright wallpapers so this is dynamic lock screen you have a bunch of high resolution wallpapers waiting for you at the lock screen and Samsung will update these wallpapers with fresh ones every two weeks. So now let me show you how you can enable dynamic lock screen. So unlock the phone, drop down the notification panel, go to settings, then tap on lock screen, scroll down here and tap on dynamic lock screen. But first turn this feature on then tap on dynamic lock screen. Over here you have a set of predefined wallpapers, landscapes, life, food, pets and art. So right now I was using the landscape wallpapers, let's also download live and by the way press on these three dots, go to settings and make sure auto update is turned on because Samsung will update these wallpapers every two weeks. So right now the pets wallpaper is applied, so I'll just put my phone to sleep, pick it up, we have a picture of view pets, sleep, pick it up, brand new photo, once again sleep and pick it up, we have a brand new High resolution photo on our lock screen. You want to see more wallpapers? You can just swipe from right to left, and the phone will show you some amazing high resolution wallpapers. You know, let's test out the food wallpapers. So, wait for it to download. Applying. So, I'll put my phone to sleep, pick it up, and we can scroll to see fresh high resolution wallpapers so this is dynamic lock screen 
So that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed and let me know what you think about this new update in the comment section down below. And it goes without saying if you have enjoyed do make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you can get notifications to my latest uploads. Alright guys I will see you next time.